All right, everybody, I got a little informational video here. We're going to be checking push rod length on a big block Chevy here. I got a adjustable push rod here. I have uh, a set of push rods already in it. They were uh, the standard length set, but uh, due to this being a hydraulic roller cam, these lifters are significantly taller and being aftermarket heads and so many different variables best off just to check your uh, push rod length because if you get it wrong uh, it can cause some pretty big issues so I'm gonna walk you guys through the process here and uh, how to get it perfect so here we go all right so right now I'm checking the exhaust valve right here of cylinder number one I spun it over on the harmonic or uh, on the uh, crankshaft snout to the base circle of the cam which if your end takes off you can see in there um, get it on the base circle not on any part of the lobe and then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to extend this out to about the same length as my other one on a big box Chevy the longer push rods are the exhaust alright so I just did one real quick to make sure I knew what I was talking about here so exhaust side I had this all the way collapsed to its um, with all the pieces into its smallest length so put that in the exhaust side on the base circle I marked the tip of the valve with blue sharpie right there and then I, I let it dry and then I put the rocker on the stud and I turned the engine over till uh, this cylinder made its full cycle um, the full lift cycle and then I uh, pull the rocker off and look at it so it's a little towards the back side of the valve so if I could show you what we're looking for here on another valve like right if this is your valve tip right here you want it just you want like a line like that that thin maybe even thinner across the center of your valve if that makes sense just right across the center like that but that should be worn in your sharpie so with this being farther back towards the I guess the exhaust port away from the middle here I'm going to shorten the push rod to try to get this sweep towards the center of this tip of the valve so I'm going to make that adjustment here and then put my rocker back on and see if we made any improvement there all right guys, so I ended up taking a section out of my adjustable push rod here. Try not to spin it too much because it doesn't lock itself into place. I ended up taking a section out and so everybody's online. If, if you guys watch another video on uh, checking push rod length, people use micrometers and I don't know, all these fancy measuring tools. Obviously, I'm not into none of that. I drive a old Chevrolet and I have a mullet. Here's my Harbor Freight tape measure. Um, the factor, or how I set it up originally was eight and 11 sixteenths on the tape measure. So I dropped it down to eight and 10 sixteenths. And that sucker's right in the middle of the valve, I would say. That's pretty good. I, it could be maybe I don't know, a couple thousand shorter or whatever you could argue, but um, definitely a lot better than before. So I'm going to convert the uh, 8 and 5 eighths into um, the decimal and then see online what I can find for the closest size for the exhaust. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the intakes right now also, the same exact method. And... I'm assuming the difference between the standard length and what I'm measuring out should be pretty similar between the two. So that'll be kind of one way to check my uh, check my work there. And then uh, I also had a guy online in a Facebook group tell me about what I should uh, end up with. So several ways to check your work here, guys. And uh, this this method don't lie here. Draw on the draw on the valve and then uh, spin the motor over. This will tell you what's really going on. So I'm gonna check the intake real quick and then. Uh, I also have another way to show you guys, but uh, I'm not too big on this. So for 716 studs, which are the rocker studs on these heads and, and most big box Chevy heads, 
It's uh, 20 threads per inch, which comes out to be 50 thousandths of an inch per turn. So what you can do is if you want to do it a little more precise, you get your uh, rocker on here with no push rod in it, and you line it up 90 with your uh, valve spring, or your tip of your valve. Line it up 90, and then you'd put on your uh, poly lock or whatever kind of rocker nut you're using, and you tighten it down depending on the lift of your cam. So for the exhaust on this cam, it's got 569 thousandths of lift at the valve. You divide that by two because you want your rocker to be directly 90 degrees with the tip of your valve at mid lift. So it came out to 284 and a half, which is 285 is fine. You divide that by your 50 thousandths, which would tell you how many turns you need to turn your poly lock. And then if you go from there, you can, once you get that, it should be 90 degrees. And then you can put your push rod in and adjust it out. And uh, that'll also tell you your length. But I just did my way in about 10 minutes and I didn't have to think too hard. So I think I'm going to keep doing it this way. All right, I'm going to do the intake valve here in one clip so you guys can see exactly how I'm doing it. I got Sharpie on the tip of the valve. I got my adjustable push rod already in its hole. I measured out uh 7600 or 76 and 5 8 which is 25 thousandths high the cams on its base circle there i spun the motor over till i seen it hit it get your trunnion right in your uh rocker armor made that mistake flat side up get it sitting on your push rod and then looking at it from the side here i don't know if you guys can see that the uh Roller should be slightly forward because as it rolls back, it'll get more to the center of the valve and it matters more the position of it during the lift rather than how it's sitting, obviously. So I'm going to set you guys up here like that. Got my poly lock here with the Allen key all the way out. It's seated on the lifter cup and the cup in the rocker, the push rod is. I'm going to run the poly lock all the way down, just kind of hand tight there until it bottoms out. I got my breaker bar, spin the motor over. There it goes, starting to open the valve. Start to close the valve. There's closed. Pull your poly lock off. This one didn't show up too good on the Sharpie, but you can still kind of see where it was. So it was right in the middle, but my sweep looks a little bit wide. Um, what I mean by that is, so like how I showed you earlier when I put that line on the tip of the valve, the width of the line matters too. You want a very thin line in the center of the valve. Those look pretty good. So I ended up with 8600 on the exhaust and 7600 on the intake um, for push rod length on this big block Chevy. Hydraulic roller Gen 4 block, retrofitted. Um, hydraulic roller lifters, Flotec aluminum heads. They got steel shim head gaskets. So, pretty easy process. No need to overcomplicate it. Just make sure you're paying attention and you, uh, you get it right, right in the middle of the valve where you want it. Thanks for watching.